Good evening. I'm Nancy Dodge. I'm uh, from YB Stamp. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And this evening I'm going to show you various ways of doing bows. You know, it's very exciting. But it can really add quite the accent to any of your cards. I can't wait to show you. <laughs> anyway, so I'm calling this Tie One On. Showing you various ways to tie bows or make but make something that looks like bows actually believe it or not so um, first I'm going to show you um, this is the first one I'm going to do and uh, it's uh, made with paper but it's made to look like ribbon so I'm going to show you how to do that first so I have a one and three quarter inch piece of white cardstock by um, five and a quarter and I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to mark off every half inch on both sides so half inch half inch half inch half inch both sides and these are going to be covered up so you don't need to worry about it all the way down to the bottom because these are just reference points I'll show you in a minute all right then I have hi Steph um, some one half inch by two inch pieces of designer series paper so I could use them all the same or I can do them one and one it's kind of bright isn't it let me see if I can dull that down a little Does that help nope it's because I put new paper on that'll teach me right I don't know why it's so bright A little better I guess sorry about that all right so I'm going to take my stamp and seal and I'm going to put it on the back of these and I'm going to go from the top corner to the top of the half inch on the other side like that why is that so bright? Usually it's not bright enough. Does that help? Not help? I don't know. It's bizarre. All right. And I'm going to do it again. All the way down from tick mark to tick mark. So just make sure that you use the same um, designer series paper on one side and you can put the other down this way but for the first row here you need to use the same. I hope I cut enough pieces. Oops. <laughs> Oh, I can always make it shorter if I need to. Tick mark, tick mark. All right, then I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do the other side. Actually, might look pretty. All right. I'm trying to remember how to do this. goes this way. There. Tick mark to tick mark. So you can see I'm covering up those pencil marks and if not I can um, fix it when I
But see, it has that ribbon effect. Oops, got some of the sticky on my paper. I don't know why it's so bright. That's bizarre. more. Oops. All right. Then take your snips and cut these little edges off so that it's flat. But it's better if you do it from the back because you can really see that white edge better. Make sure you cut that bottom off. Of course, they stick to the snips, but that's okay. I just push all those pieces aside and I'll clean them up later. So there's the ribbon look. And this is a card that I did with that ribbon look. So that's our first one. And then next one we're going to do, I have cheat notes here, <laughs> is I'm going to do a paper bow. And I'll show you what it looks like. This is the card that I did with the paper bow. So I have um, three pieces of cardstock. This one is three quarters of an inch, and I think it's six inches. And this one is an inch and a half, and this one is one quarter inch. Yeah, it's really bugging me. Why is it so bright? that make it better? I think it's just the white paper. Maybe if I put something dark here. How about that there? How's that? <laughs> okay. So the first thing we need to do is we need to cut out some ovals. So I have my oval punch here. And I need um, Drawing a blank. So first I fold this in half. Of course I did this perfect on my own before, but... <laughs> Alright, fold it in half. And then you want to take it Put it in here carefully so that you're going to get an even oval cut. All right, so you have two identical pieces. Then you're going to take this strip and we're going to put adhesive on these two pieces just at the beginning and I'm going to try to center this a little bit use the lines on my paper here Kind of line it up. Make it as even as I can so that our bow isn't crooked. Alrighty. Then we're going to take and make some other ovals.
I'm just going to do a single bow on this one. And you take your any kind of whether it's a pen or your bone folder, just kind of curl it a bit and loosen up the paper fibers so that it looks like that. And then I'm going to take glue dots as soon as I find them. <laughs> Thought I had them out. There we go. Some glue dots, and these are left over from Paper Pumpkin. And I'm just going to put it right there on the inside and squeeze this together, lining up those pieces. Can you see that? And I'm going to do the same on this one. Put another glue dot right on the edge. Maybe. There was no goop on that, I guess. A dead. And squeeze this together, lining up the pieces. All right. Then I'm going to take, I'm going to trim this some here with my snips. Cut these back because this is basically just to hold these two pieces together and I'm going to put glue dots here on either side and I'm going to line these up and push down. I'm going to take one of these pieces that I just cut off and I'm going to put adhesive on it and I'm going to wrap it through the middle here and fold it over. Fold it over. There's our bow. Ta da! <clears throat> All right, so that's the card that I did with the the little bow, paper bow. So if you don't have ribbon, you can still make a bow. All right, next, clean up my mess here. The next one I'm going to show you is called a faux bow because you don't use a bow at all, actually. And I forgot one of the... Hold on, i got to get a piece. So I'm using the um, round and square brads. Um, I think I will uh, use white on this. So I can use square around and you open up the brad and then you just take your ribbon and do like one of those um, you know ribbons that you see like for cancer or whatever and squish it together and put this brad over it. is thicker than I used before so hold on while I do this so you just squeeze it in the back so it looks like you've tied a bow but you have not so I used the um, metallic mesh ribbon and I made this card using that and all I did was I put a hole in this um, piece right here and stuck it through and opened it up on the other side. 
So that's card number, or bow number three, I should say. <laughs> All right. Then, of course, there is um, the bow that you can tie with your fingers. Hold it with your ring finger and your thumb. And I want you to wrap it around your fingers, alternating like this. And then you take your end piece and put it in between your fingers that it's wrapped around and pull it. And then go over this piece right here so that it goes under and pull it through tight. And you've got a double bow. Just going to get it off my finger. We'll be all set. There we are. A double bow. How easy was that? Then, I have this card right here. And this ribbon was just put behind it. And I just did a single, um, like a half bow on it. So it has two ends and just one loop. But, to get the ribbon through here, i show you using this ribbon. I'll get another piece. Hold on. Got another piece. <laughs> so here's your tag with the hole in it. I think I just need a darker cardstock behind here. And then those of you that had kids with braces, you remember using these to have to run the floss through? Well, that's what you're going to use. You're going to put this through the hole, right, on your tag. And then take your ribbon. We could do it just once. And pull it through the hole. And now the end of your ribbons aren't frayed. So don't throw these away. Yes, Stephanie, these were yours. <laughs> but that's how I did that. So the ends aren't frayed. You know how when usually you have to, uh, you know, the old way. <laughs> You'd have to fold this up. And try to pull it through and then the ends got frayed see just trying that it's getting frayed see how frayed it is so now you know don't throw these flossers away use them to pull your bows through all right the next bow I'm going to show you is on a fork Take some ribbon. I'll see if I remember how to do this right. You hold it here. And I go through the middle. Got to do it up top a little higher. Go through the middle. Loop it around. Go through the middle. Loop it around. Go through the middle. Loop it behind. And then up through the middle of the tine and through this here. I know, I'm not showing you very well, am I? <laughs> Missed the back. Missed a piece. Anyway, so this is what it comes out like. <laughs> I'll try it again, but there's a little double knot from using the fork. All right, let's try that again. Took me a couple of times, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. All right, let's see. Hold that piece. Go behind, 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 behind. 
up through the middle. And then down through this piece. Eh. It's not tying very well, is it? So, and you got your double bow. All right. The next one I have is. When you cut a little piece off, you know, when you've trimmed it be down because it was too long, save those little pieces. You can take some twine and tie it together, and then you can just cut it off and glue it right on your card. So, it would go right on the card. This is a semi-finished card. So, those are what I have this evening. It's not overly exciting, is it? <laughs> but, there are, now you have some new ways to do some bows. Alright, while I have you, I want to tell you about the weekly specials that Stampin' Up! has. From the, fourth, the, from the 1st to the 7th was the first week. So now from the 8th to the 14th, there are, I think, like seven specials on my 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 um shopping page and then the week after the um 15th to the 21st there are there will be seven more and then from the 22nd to the 28th there'll be seven more so that's exciting and also this month they have perfect partners. They've come out with um, Yeti to the Party, which is on page 38 of the December, July through December Mini. Trimming the Tree, which is on page 43 of the Annual Catalog. Apple Harvest is on page 54 in the July to December Mini. Um, Waterfall Canyons on page 95 in the Annual Catalog. Fresh Cut Flowers is on page 65 in the annual catalog. And this Birthday Piggy is on page 55 in the annual Stampin' Up! catalog. And all of these, the, that that's where the stamps to these sets are. If you don't have the stamps, you can get the stamps and the dies at 10% off. Uh, all these specials are on my website, ybstamp.com. And next Sunday, I'm going to highlight Fond of Autumn Bundle. I have quite a few cards and all different techniques that I'm going to show you with that, um, that set. And then, the Sunday after, we do Zoom. Um... For paper pumpkin. If you want this um, Christmas card paper pumpkin set, make sure you order by the 10th of October. It'll get shipped 11th of October and then um, the fourth Sunday of the month we meet at 7 p.m. on Zoom. It's just a lot more fun, really. And my mystery card class is on the first Sunday each month. The list of supplies for October is up. So please feel free to gather your supplies at any time. And if you see too many things that you want, don't hesitate to join my team. For just $99, you get your choice of $125 worth of current Stampin' Up! products, a business supply pack, and a free paper pumpkin. Uh, also community. You know, you get to know some people really well. And uh, it's just really a lot of fun. I, I really do enjoy it. So thank you for joining me this evening. If you would like a catalog or to book a workshop or join my team, please contact me through my website, ybstamp.com, and I'll be happy to help you. And until then, happy stamping.